back in the car again, familiar location. So I keep getting questions about people not knowing how to either put on weight or lose weight. And people keep asking, Zach, what do I do? Like, I, I I'm a hard gainer or I can't seem to, I can't seem to cut down that last extra bit. And frankly, I, there's a simple solution to that. And when it comes down to it, the base level of everything is your, your BMR, your base metabolic or basal metabolic rate. And that's what you need to stay alive. And then you have your TDE, which is the calorie intake you need in order to maintain the mass that you are now, fat and muscle wise, all else included. And if you eat at your TDE, you're going to stay the same weight. And if you eat above it or in a surplus, a caloric surplus, you'll gain weight. If you eat below that TDE, you will be in a caloric deficit and you'll lose weight. And a lot of people think, oh, like Zach, I'm eating a ton. Like, how am I? How come I'm not putting on weight? And the reason behind that is maybe you're you think you're eating a lot, but if you really want to put on weight, your body says you need to eat more, and you think you're already eating a lot, but you need to eat more. And some people just feel uncomfortable. And it's like if you feel uncomfortable, don't do it. But just know that if you don't eat a certain amount, you're not going to put on that weight. And the same thing goes for dieting. It's, if you're eating too little, your body's going to panic. And if you eat below your BMR, your basal metabolic rate, your body starts to panic or that something's wrong. It puts you into emergency mode where it starts storing calories as fat. And that's when you put on weight. And so you're thinking, oh, like I'm, I'm barely eating. Why am I not losing weight? In fact, I'm putting on weight. And that's because you're eating too little. And if you eat too little or too much in any direction too quickly, your body freaks out and it puts on weight or it stores weight and it doesn't lose weight or gain weight. So... If you want, if you're trying to cut, you need to do it gradually and you need to do it appropriately. And it's not as complicated as a lot of people think. And a lot of people read articles that guide them in these crazy directions, these convoluted paths towards success and towards fitness. And they, you think that you can spot train fat away, that you can, oh, if you do a thousand crunches, you'll have abs. And that, that's just not the case. You need to stick to your diet. You need to make, well, number one, you need to have an appropriate diet for your body because everyone's body is unique and everyone trains different. Everyone eats different. No one is the same. So to have an appropriate diet, have an appropriate workout plan, and be committed. You have to be committed to those things. You need to make sure you're on track. Don't go crazy one day and then counteract it hardcore the next day. You need to just stick to one thing and make sure you're doing that thing right. And it, it sounds difficult, but for you, once you really just kind of sit down, meditate on it, think about what you have to do, look into it a little bit more, it becomes a lot more manageable and your goals become extremely attainable. So if you have any more questions or comments on that, feel free to comment below or to email me at kirbykinesthetics at gmail.com. Both of those will be down below in the description. And just stick to your goals. You can do whatever you put your mind to. And uh, if you ever need help or support, I'm here with you. We're all doing the same thing. We have the same goals, and I'm here to, to encourage you and to coach you along. So thanks for watching, and like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you later.